Building and Conflict Management Agency. President Tinubu ready to sack underperforming ministers. Over 670 people buried in Papua New Guinea landslide. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Ibu values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and glad to have you join us on the news tonight. My name is Maureen Stone Enujuki. The Archdeacon Mbako Archdeacon Rui and Vika St. Stephen's Church Mbako Venerable Jason Onyakabusi has challenged couples to brace up for the responsibilities of training their world to become useful members of the society. Venerable Onyakabu stated this during a sermon in a service to mark the Oka Diocesan Children's Day and Holy Trinity Sunday. Our religion correspondent, Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, has the details. Venerable Onyakabu noted that children are precious gifts from God and must be nurtured, molded, and raised in the way that their lives will continue to glorify God's name because they are sent for a mission which is to achieve their life potential through Christ Jesus. He emphasized that it is the responsibility of parents to care for their children as many have gone astray, lost in hunger, and frowned as many parents shy away from their divine roles, advising them to go back to the drawing board and set things aright. We live in a generation of distractions. We live in a generation where parents are under pressure, economic pressure, marital pressure, uh, professional pressure, that keeps their minds away from their families and children. Let's go and look homeward. That's my message. At St. Matthew's Parish, Amobia, a resident priest, Reverend Father Professor Anthony Atanse, noted that it is important for Christians to choose the path of love and participate in the life of the Blessed Trinity, which is the essence of their existence in life. Reverend Father Professor Atanse has on the attributes of the Trinity, even as he told the parishioners that they are the fourth in the Trinity, and amidst all challenges in life, they should quietly commune with the Trinity of God to give them direction and guidance to be successful. If I really think about the actuality, popularity, power, they all flow to you at the feet of someone who has chosen to live in his or her identity as the fourth person of the Trinity. Special prayers were offered for the children in Oka, Amaka, Chibuzo, Okoye for ABS News. Anambra State House of Assembly has passed into law a bill to establish the Anambra State Peace Building and Conflict Management Agency 2024 and other related matters. The bill was passed following a motion moved for the bill to be read for the third time by the majority leader of the House, Mr. Ikenna Ofodeme, following extensive legislative process. House of Assembly correspondent Emmanuel Chiwata was there. Bill will come into force immediately it is assented to by the governor. The bill aims to foster peace and manage conflicts within the state with harmonious environment for its residents aligning with governor's broad agenda of infrastructure, economic transformation, security and social cohesion. The Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Somtochuku Udeze, highlighted the importance of the bill and said it will play a crucial role in preventing conflicts in the state. He read the bill for the third time and was passed following a unanimous support from the lawmakers through a voice vote. The law with respect to the number of state peace building and conflict uh, management agency for 2024 shall come into force on the 20th of June 2024. Speaking shortly, the sponsor of the bill and member representing Njikoka Constituency 2, Dr. Jude Abwa, said the bill is of paramount importance and stated that it will resolve conflicts in families, communities, and all aspects of human life. 
He lamented how many people that are languishing in correctional centers as a result of conflict, but stressed that with the bill, there will be less litigation in court and inmates in prison. Dr. Abwa, who is also the deputy majority leader of the House, said that the agency will establish a broad mandate to promote peace and resolve conflicts through proactive measures such as identification of potential sources of conflict, mediation and negotiation efforts, and the implementation of peace building initiatives across various communities in Anambra states. People you know, need orientation and the reorientation to that effect. Because if you don't you know, give, give, give the orientation, they will know what they are doing. With, with this bill being passed today by the grace of God, you know, it will reduce drastically the litigations in the court, the inmates, you know, inmates in, the, in the various prisons. Emania Shibata for ABS News. IG Agowo Health and Academic Foundation has announced the 2024 scholarship applications for students aimed at supporting indigent but talented students across Nigeria. The foundation will announce this in Oka during a press conference called on students to visit www.egahav.org from June 3 to 28, 2024 to fill an online application form for students. Correspondent Chibuzo OBDK found the report. The scholarship is available to students in junior and senior secondary schools and tertiary institutions. IEG Aguwu Health and Academic Foundation, founded by a philanthropic Ignatius Aguwu, is a charitable organization dedicated to supporting the education and well-being of the less privileged. The benefactor focuses on giving back to the community through his foundation as a way to mark significant contributions to the betterment of society by empowering numerous individuals individuals, particularly indigent and talented students with scholarship and educational support. Addressing the press, the executive secretary of the foundation, Peace Chuku, revealed that the scholarship opportunity is open to students across the 36 states of Nigeria and Abuja who demonstrate exceptional academic excellence but need financial assistance. She called on students in public schools to apply and also encouraged those in mission and private schools with low school fees to submit the application. According to her, interested applicants should follow the applying guidelines on the application website www.igahas.org after which the foundation will carefully review all applications and shortlist candidates who meet the criteria for participation in the scholarship examination. IG Ambo Health and Academy Foundation, also known as IGARA, is on a mission to ensure that education opportunities and healthcare services are accessible to individuals from diverse backgrounds, including marginalized communities, people with disabilities, and those facing social economic barriers. Ms. Chukwu said the selection examination for those in secondary schools will be on English language, mathematics, and Igbo language, while tertiary students will be tested on the use of English, Igbo language, and critical thinking skills. Shortlisted candidates, according to her, will be invited to take the examination in Oka, Anambra State, Nigeria, and the venue will be communicated. We are committed to empowering bright minds and providing opportunities for deserving students to excel in their academic pursuits. We encourage eligible students to take advantage of this scholarship opportunity to further their education and reach their full potential. For more information, please visit IGR Health and Academic Foundation website www.egahab.org she said that successful candidates who pass the examination will be awarded fully funded scholarships starting from their current academic level through their tertiary education, noting that the foundation currently supports over 350 beneficiaries and aims to add 200 more beneficiaries this year, bringing the total to 550 by the end of 2024. And the Anambra State Health Insurance Agency has developed a five-year strategic health plan 2024 to 2029. The two-day workshop, which was held in Oka, attracted relevant stakeholders, representatives of the National Health 
Insurance Agency, Anambra State's Minister of Agriculture, State Bureau of Statistics, State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Afram Obidike, who declared the workshop open. Correspondent Chibuzo Koi now reports. Giving an overview of the workshop, the Managing Director of Asia, Dr. Simeon Oyemechi, said that the plan will look carefully at how the agency will strategically increase their coverage to enroll more people into the scheme, the practical steps they need to take to achieve their objective. Dr. Oyemechi emphasized that as the staff of the agency are integral part of the stakeholders developing the plan, they will have institutionalized memory of the document when he must have visited the position in the future, expressing optimism that his would be successor will continue with the plan. According to the Asia boss, the plan will equally bring out the practical steps they need to take on month to month and year to year basis, how to source the resources they will leverage on among others, describing the document as timely. I cannot tell what will happen tomorrow. But today that God has given to us, let us do our best to prepare for the future. When you fail to plan is a common saying. Have planned to fail. A lead consultant in the workshop, Dr. Eric Obikeze from the University of Nigeria, maintained that for people to move forward, they must have a strategic plan that will help them to achieve their aims and objectives. Dr. Obikeze maintained that what Asia has done is crucial to spell out what the agency wants to achieve in its five year plan as well as lay a foundation that will last for a long time, appealing to the Anambra State Government to gazette the document for it to become a law. If we have further capable, capable handlers, answers we have now, they will only obey them. They will only keep to what is already existing. Our aim is to make it institutional thing and make, we make sure that government bought into it and the government is very much willing and get the state assembly to be interested. Already. In Oka, this is Chibu Zokoye for ABS News. The Anambra State's Command of Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, says it will provide adequate security to all levels of schools in the state under the Corps' Safe Schools Project. The State Commandant of the Agency, Mr. Olatunde Maku, made this known during a courtesy call on the Managing Director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, Sachido Obideku in Oka. Correspondent Chibuzo Obideke found the report. The primary, post-primary and tertiary institutions will be provided with security by the Corps, noting that the initiative will commence with the training and retraining of teachers and parents and sensitization program for schools and communities as stipulated in its action plan. The state commandant who spoke through his deputy, Mr. Francis Nadi, said the National Safe Schools Project is not only for the security agencies alone, but will also seek the partnership of the schools, institutions, and host communities. Mr. Marku stated further that the project was designed to go beyond ensuring smooth teaching and learning in schools and extend to mitigate rape, kidnapping, sexual harassment, intimidation, cultism, bullying, among others. He, however, noted that the activities of the NSSRCC need wider publicity and solicited for partnership with the station to get students integrated in its programs. We need to sensitize people. The actuality for collaboration, areas of interest, we synergize to make sure we help the governor, we support him making our school safe and making it a member of the Contributing an assistant commandant of the agency, Mrs. Uche Okafo, revealed that the command will use an approach-based sensitization and awareness program, which will be in form of train-a-trainer workshop, where basic security tips and identifying possible security threats or dangers will be taught. Well, we have sat down and drew our programs on how to carry out this SESCO program. And the self school program is not all about the physical security. It is meant to inculcate in every child, the student, pupil, the teachers, and the host community, the need to be security conscious. Receiving his guests, the ABS boss, Sachido, thanked the command for the visit and assured them of the continuous partnership of the establishment, which is in line with the Saludo administration in ensuring a better life and well-being of the state citizenry. He commended them on the Safe Schools project and said it will also help the state to guide security against bridges of any kind. I think that is a question that you said and I want to applaud you for that. You know, it's a wise man that prepares for the brain before he comes. 
wrinkles and your number. And I think, I think that's, that's basically what is being, being done now. Okay. So, in terms of collaboration, be sure. Still to come on the news, President Tinubu ready to sack underperforming ministers. Over 670 people buried in Papua New Guinea's landslide. Here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Stoludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. We shall be taking a break for now. Stay with us. In a world hungry for goodness. With a splash of golden terra oil, a mom can transform a frown into a smile. Make a lunch hour a happy hour. Change no thanks into yes please. Provide care when our nearest and dearest needs it most. And resolve family feuds without blowing a whistle. Providing tasty, nourishing family meals is all that matters. The world needs moms because where there are moms, there is hope, happiness, and love. Golden Terra Oil or Pure Love. President Bolatinobu is ready to fire on the performing ministers who fail to deliver on targets set for them, the presidency has said. The special advisor on information and strategy to the president, Bayo Onanuga, said that this while also saying, though the president was yet to decide on the minister's performances, he had told them to deliver on his administration's eight-point agenda. He added that those found wanting will be asked to leave the cabinet. Onanuga also rated the performance of the administration high as it approaches its first year in office, giving it a score of 70%. He said when President Tinubu took over, Nigeria was using 97% of its revenue to service debt and was borrowing for recurrent expenditure, which includes the payment of salaries, adding that the administration brought the nation back from the brinks of economic collapse with the implementation of bold policies, such as the removal of fuel subsidy and the unification of the exchange rate. About 670 people are estimated to be buried under a massive landslide in Papua New Guinea, a UN official says. The head of the International Organization for Migration in Papua New Guinea, Sehan Aktoprak, that the impacts of Friday's landslide and the country's isolated Enga province was greater than initially thought. The affected areas are in the high lines of Enga in the north of the island nation and the southwest Pacific. Mr. Aktropak said rescuers were at a risk because the land still sliding. There are nearly 4,000 people living in the area hit by the landslide. However, Care Australia, the humanitarian agency which is helping with relief efforts, warned that the number affected was likely to be higher because of an influx of people escaping tribal conflicts in neighboring areas. In our sports, the head coach for the Republic of Bene, General Tro, has unveiled a 25-man squad for his side's 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifying fixtures against Rwanda and Nigeria. Raw, who was previously in charge of the Super Eagles, named 19 foreign-based players and six local stars in the squad. Experienced forward Steve Money, Nigerian-born Do Ayegun Tosin and Samson Akinola are among the players listed by the German tactician. The Squirrels are winless in Group C and must win the two upcoming fixtures to boost the chances of qualifying for the World Cup for the first time, Ross side will host Group C, Group C leaders, Amavubi of Rwanda, at the state Felix Hofet Boigny on Thursday, June 6. They will also entertain neighbors, Nigeria at the same venue four days later. 
Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page. Follow us at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube at ABS Television Oka or next at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And now a recap of the main points before we go. Churches in Anambra State has marked Children's Day service. Anambra State Assembly have passed bill on peace building and conflict management agency. President Tunubu ready to sack on the performing ministers. And on the foreign scene, over 670 people buried in Papua New Guinea landslide. And to end the news, a special message again. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's it on the news for tonight. Thank you so very much for watching. My name is Maureen Stone in Catch you for.